What is up, Libra? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is a Libra reading for September 12th through the 19th. Please remember to only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. I'm hearing something about red flags or a warning sign. Okay, a warning message. So this message could be a warning message or a warning sign or like you've been getting red flags, you've been seeing the red flags. Something is a red flag, okay? Someone you're dealing with or some situation, there's a red flag involved, okay? There could be a child, a small child involved in this situation, okay? I was also getting that someone only makes time for you when they're not working or when you are working. Someone's only available when you're at work or someone's only available when you're working or this is you you're only available when someone's working i'm getting that that's a red flag not in normal situations or not all the time but in this specific one there's something about if you're working and they're free and then they're working and you're free it's just not meant to be okay one 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 on the timer you deserve something else or you need something new or something new is trying to manifest into your life okay all right, let's see what Libra has going on this week, September 12th through the 19th. I'm hearing joyride. You may be taking yourself out on a joyride, or you may need to go for a joyride. At least 30 to 45 minutes I'm seeing for someone. Okay, if you have a car, of course. If you have a license, of course. I'm getting something about a joyride. Or someone may be asking you, do you want to take a ride with me? Do you want to come for a ride? Okay. Let's see what's going on for Libra this week, September 12th through the 19th. I'm hearing someone doesn't understand you. Someone doesn't know what you've been through, okay? I'm hearing they don't understand Libra or they don't get Libra. All right, but you're pulling peace for this week, which is nice. There's going to be peace as your overall theme this week. Whatever you need to do, prioritize your peace, okay? I'm seeing a lot of white around you. Somebody could be passing okay or somebody has passed and they're visiting you like a passed on loved one or somebody is passing this week okay they're going to a more peaceful place there's a lot more peace around you in general this week you could see a dove okay the color white is going to follow you this week all right maybe you're wearing a lot of white this week or you want to wear a lot of white this week or you're just seeing a lot of white white feathers white screens white shirts white in general okay and i'm getting peace all right, it says release the past. The future has blessings waiting for you, Libra, okay? Let go of the past. Let go of the person from the past. Let go of the situation from the past, okay? I'm hearing I'm not hurting anymore or you're not hurting anymore. I'm hearing you're not hurting me. I'm not hurting you, something like that. There's peace this week. Something is being made more peaceful for you, okay? This could be a work environment. Could be a home could be a relationship but there's more peace okay in the next three days of you seeing this reading but definitely throughout this week peace is a focus for you meditating okay i'm hearing someone smoking a bowl or smoking a joint or smoking a blunt okay a glass of red wine all right whatever you need whatever works for you libra i'm not here to judge you i am here to deliver the messages but i'm getting something about peace prioritize your peace this week okay keep it peaceful I'm also hearing keep it PG, especially on your Instagram, your TikTok, your Twitter, all right, your YouTube. Someone's trying to use something against you, okay, or they will try to use something against you. So I'm getting keep it PG, keep it peaceful, keep it cute, keep it kind, keep it educated. That's just what I'm hearing, okay. All right, for Libra this week, what's going on? September 12th through the 19th, what's this peace? nice nice i'm hearing shelter okay you're being sheltered from something or you're getting shelter you could be getting a new home moving homes there could be a roommate moving out or you're getting a new roommate or your roommate's coming back okay something like that maybe you've been alone for a really long time and now there's people coming into your life or something like that but i'm getting more peace in your relationships more peace in your life this is a good sign this is also confirm confirmation of that I just saw 444 on the timer, so that could be a number for you, but that means security, safety, home. Your home will be at peace, okay? Peace in the home. Peace at home, okay? 
you could be working from home or transitioning to a work from home position all right you could be redecorating your home or getting more like more for your home i'm getting something about furniture maybe you're redecorating or maybe you're getting more pieces of furniture or like moving out things okay you could be pulling out things for the holidays right and the decoration is adding more peace all right these could be like decorations from your ancestors or from like your grandparents or something like that that have been passed down to you so they hold that energy okay and it's like every time you pull out that bowl every time you pull out that glass set the glassware every time you pull out these ornaments or this whatever that you're decorating with, you can feel this energy of calm, peace around you because your spirit team is attached to those ornaments or attached to that energy or attached to those items, right? I'm just seeing more peace coming into your life from the beginning here, okay? I'm also seeing things taking off for you, all right? You're getting more opportunities, all right? Things are picking up for you again after a period of stagnancy, okay? That's why I feel like it's important that you focus on your peace, okay? because you're getting what you want. Doesn't matter what everybody else wants, you're getting what you want, is what I'm hearing, okay? I'm also hearing you're going to get what you need this week. Things will be made more peaceful, more comfortable for you, okay? You could be dealing with a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or North North Node. There's some kind of confusion, confusion popping up for you on Wednesday. Mercury is in retrograde, right? So speech is definitely a problem. Technology is an issue. Communication in general. All right, yeah. And then on Thursday, it's going to be cleared up. So whatever is confusing on Wednesday, it's going to be cleared up on Thursday. Okay, that's the focus for this week. Things are being made more peaceful. So anything that comes up this week that's a struggle or that's confusing or doesn't make sense, like it will be dealt with immediately. It will be made peaceful immediately that's what i'm getting focus on the peace focus on how to make it peaceful focus on how to keep the peace okay i'm getting that keep the peace don't gossip don't bicker don't fight keep the peace we have the page of cups showing up on friday and then we have the four of swords in the reverse as your overall energy right i'm gonna actually take it in the upright spirit said which also confirms peace there's just a theme of peace for you this week okay I'm hearing carry on my wayward son. There will be peace when we are done. There will be peace when you are done. So whatever you're going through right now or whatever you just recently went through, there's more peace, okay, because of it, or there is more peace to come, okay. Someone may also be communicating to you on Thursday or Friday about a peace offering because I'm getting something about that. There's a peace offering. Okay, somebody wants to make amends, somebody wants to be your friend, or this is you, okay? Somebody just wants you in their life again, or somebody just wants you to stay in their life or something like that. There will be peace, okay? A peace offering. Why is the Six of Swords here? The King of Cups. Okay. I feel like you're leaving a Scorpio behind, or you're leaving a situation behind. Okay, you made the right decision, you're making the right decision. You're prioritizing your peace. You're prioritizing your health, your well-being, okay? You could also be eating better or eating differently. I'm seeing something about, like, healthier foods, like acai bowls, grapes, uh, lots of leafy vegetables, greens, okay? You could be going on a vegetarian or vegan diet or something like that for some of you, okay? I'm also getting something about wine again. It's like maybe the wine makes you feel more peaceful, just a glass of wine before bed or a glass of wine in the morning. Again, the only person who can judge you is you, Libra. Remember that? The only person who can judge you is you. Okay. Eight of Wands, please. Why is the Eight of Wands showing up for Libra? Yeah. Two of Swords and the Five of Wands. I'm hearing if you don't make a move, they will fight themselves. If you don't make a scene, they will do it themselves. Right? Let someone make a scene prioritize your peace don't make a move yet okay something about that especially on tuesday okay on tuesday you may feel you may feel very triggered to say something to do something to act on something but i'm getting don't let them make a fool of themselves let them make the first move let them let them create chaos for themselves because this five of wands two of swords energy is kind of giving like someone's waiting on you to create chaos or somebody's waiting for you to mess up but really they're messing up or they're going to mess up really it's them who's doing it or really it's them who's 
the problem. Yeah, so let them make their own mistakes or let them mess up on their own, okay? I'm hearing don't fix it for them, don't do it for them, okay? Something is unavoidable, all right? So just dodge the bullet, just get out of the way, okay? I'm hearing get out of the way. Something about a moving train. You could hear trains as confirmation of this. You could be getting on a train, an Amtrak, riding a train, okay? Or you could live by a railroad or live by a train, okay? What's this confusion? The Seven of Pen seven of Cups on Wednesday for Libra? Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a solution coming in on Wednesday. I'm just getting that there's a solution on Wednesday. Something's going to be very confusing. Something may stop working all of a sudden. Somebody may stop communicating all of a sudden. Okay. But I'm also getting stop and start energy. So something is just really not making sense on Wednesday, and I feel like it's not meant to make sense. It's meant to just end, or it's meant to be the way that it is with the world card here. Okay. I don't even want to dive too deep into it. Just let Wednesday be Wednesday. Let Wednesday be weird. I feel like Wednesday is going to be weird for a lot of the collective. I keep getting that weird Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday. Okay. Ace of Swords. There's going to be a solution. It's not going to be confusing for very long. Okay. I'm just getting that somebody wants to, like, confuse you or somebody wants to create chaos for you because there is none. Okay. Or because their lives are boring. Okay. Something like that. But there's going to be a solution, there's going to be peace for you, immediately, okay? I'm also hearing something's being rushed to you, or rushed for you, okay? This could be like overnight shipping, or something like that. Then we have the Three of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So on Thursday, it looks like you'll get the truth about the situation, okay? It could be about a family member who passed away. Somebody could be letting you know, like, hey, so-and-so passed away, but, like, they lived a long time, or, like, they're in a more peaceful place. I feel like someone's body is shutting down or something like that. I'm sorry to be delivering this to you, and I'm sending you so much love, but this is just what I'm getting. So you may get confirmation of this on Thursday. You may get a message on Thursday. All right? But I'm also getting that for some of you, you're going to get the truth about a past connection. All right, and it sets you free. Or you're going to get the truth about a situation and they want to heal things with you. They want to make things work with you. A peace offering, right? Definitely coming through on Thursday. And then on Friday, it's like, can we do this? Can we make this work? Can we make this happen? I'm seeing 1010 in your reading, so you could be seeing that as well. That could be someone's birthday. But like, they want to make amends with you. They want peace with you. They want you to be happy. At the end of the day, that's all this person cares about or that's all you care about is being happy. Because I see that you've been through something. And I feel like this person doesn't understand it, or this person will understand it, or this person is understanding it this week. They're like, oh, wow, I didn't know this about Libra. So this this Thursday clarification or this confirmation, this enlightenment that comes in on Thursday could be somebody else. Where they're like, oh, Libra was going through this the whole time. Libra had this going on. I didn't know that about Libra. And now they do. They want to make amends. They want a peace offering with you, okay? But also by the end of the week, I see you just like letting go of all the burdens, letting go of all the stress, releasing, okay? And letting the universe take over, all right? There's an emphasis on surrender and prioritizing your peace throughout this entire week, okay? Because somebody wants you to be peaceful. Somebody does not want you to worry or stress, okay? If this is somebody who passed away, they're saying I'm in peace or I will be in peace, okay? All right? Last message, please, for Libra for the week, September 12th through the 19th. I'm going to get out your Halloween decorations, okay? If you haven't gotten them out yet, get out your Halloween decorations or get some Halloween decorations, okay? The veil is going to be very thin, all right, between you and the spiritual realm, okay? Last message, please, for Libra.
We have invisibility. You are safe. You are protected. Okay? Invisibility. There's like a cloak around you for your peace. There's even more white here as well. You could be wearing a robe a lot this week or you could be getting a robe this week. You could be in visiting a hotel or staying in a hotel or you just have a robe that you want to wear. It makes you feel comfy. It makes you feel at peace. It makes you feel easy, okay? You could be wearing your hood up a lot as well too, okay? I feel like you are feeling invisible this week, but this isn't a bad thing. Spirit is using this for a reason, okay? Yeah. I feel like you just need to get away or you just need to find comfort in your own, find comfort in your home, okay, or something like that. And then we have Skull of Darkness, which says blind spots, which brings me back to the beginning about the red flags, okay? So don't ignore the red flags, okay? There are warning messages for a reason. Spirit is not trying to hurt you. They're trying to help you, all right? So listen to the messages, okay? Heed the warnings, all right? If they can only make time for you when you're not working or when they're working, let me try to figure this out. Hold on. If they're only available when you're working and you're only available when they're working, I'm getting that it's not meant to be in this specific situation, okay? Because they don't have time for you and you don't have time for them. Your lives are separate and they're meant to stay separate. I'm hearing stop trying to make something work or stop trying to force something to work, okay? There's red flags that you're ignoring for some of you and some of these people make you feel invisible. That's also a red flag, all right? In real relationships, whether it be love, friendship, family, whatever, what have you, you will not feel invisible. You will feel seen. You will feel valuable. You will feel heard. And if that's not happening, it's time to cut it out. It's time to move on from it. It's time to prioritize your own peace. Go within, figure it out within yourself, okay? Don't ignore the red flags, though, for sure, and prioritize your peace, okay? There are blessings coming for you in the future. I love you so much, Libra. Sending you all of the best. Please take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated. If you'd like to tip or donate, information is in the description box below. Please hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and that's it for me. I'll see you next time.